back with another part of my uh, haul and here we have some papers and embellishments from uh, various collections and I will start with this collection called Flora number no. 2 it's also from Scrapbook Werkstatt and I have uh, those uh, chipboard stickers included in this collection and uh, we have a flower bouquet, some um, banners and inscriptions. They are perfect for the cards, uh, for card makers. And we also have, not we, I have <laughs> a kit. Uh, this kit includes uh, 12 toy by 12 papers and toy by 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. So this is just a cover and I have this sticker uh, sheet and uh, this is very similar to this one, uh, some banners, uh, flower bouquets and inscriptions and I also have those 12 by 12 papers, I will set it aside. And what is great with Cartabella papers is this texture, they are not smooth. They have this texture kind of like uh, watercolor papers have and they look fantastic because of that because um, this paper is not shiny at all. It doesn't reflect the light and I really love uh, the, the, the paper texture and all the Cartabella collections have this texture. And so this is one side of the paper. The paper is cold. Maybe I will start from the other side so I will know the name so the paper is called Magnolia Meadow and here is this uh, green uh, plate uh, pattern and the second side is filled with flowers over the cream background and all the papers in this collection will have uh, flowers all over them because they are called flora so one side has this uh, a regular pattern I would say and the second side has flowers so you can uh, connect them and create not so busy pages because this one would be too much busy for the background for me another paper is called magnolia reef and this side is this very dark navy color with the pattern and the second side is filled with flowers you can easily fussy cut them um, the background is kind of a teal color another paper called magnolia journaling cards and this side is filled with uh, flowers they are tiny but you can still fussy cut them and the second side has those journaling cards uh, you can use them in the project life or uh, in a 4x4 instax album kind of thing and we also have a paper called garden rose spray this is the red uh, pattern and the second side uh, is the flowers over I would say a very dark gray background another paper called, called garden rose corsage and this side is uh, just a navy plate and the second side is are the flower bouquet over the teal background and they are also easy to fussy cut because they do not connect that much Another paper called Garden Rose Journaling Cards. So this side has a green background, cream background with paper pockets. And the second side is filled with journaling cards. They are not the same. They are similar, but not the same. So you can uh, use them in your Project Live albums too. And this paper is called Blossom Bunch. And I really love this shade of blue. Uh, it, it it's so fresh i would say and the second side is this cream paper with uh, tiny flowers and blossom clusters and blossom journaling cards they are the same or not no. i'm wondering if they are the double cards or or not No, I don't think so. I just think they are similar, but not the same. Okay, so this paper has this green plate, blossom clusters, and the second side is a black background with uh, flowers. 
Blossome journaling cards, a cream background with flower clusters, and the second side is also a project life cards or uh, journaling cards or whatever you call them. So you can uh, make a fun mini album using them and pieces of uh, of uh, <clears throat> of those papers. Primrose petals. Uh, this paper is called. This is very dark green background. I would say dark green changing into gray. And the second side is just filled with uh, flowers. And another paper, Primrose Patch, another uh, this uh, plate, uh, plate uh, pattern. And the second side is another bunch of flowers. <laughs> you can have too much, can't have too much flower in this collection. And Primrose journaling cards flowers and another batch of journaling cards and you can easily use them in your album. I still have this impression that they are similar to what I've seen. Maybe maybe they are similar, not the same. So 12, 12, 12 pattern papers and a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that is all that is included into the collection pack. And let's move on to my next collection. I have only a few items from this collection because, uh, well, I wasn't that much uh, amazed by this collection, but they're lazy. But I chose a few uh, elements that I really love. And this unicorn pattern will be just perfect for the upcoming um, birthday party pictures because Maya is turning five in March and we are having a unicorn party. That's, that's why I bought all those stuff because I'm going to scrap her pictures from the party using uh, those papers. And the second side is just sprinkles and the paper is called Gimme Five. Another paper with uh, pastel flowers far out and you can fussy cut those flowers. That's why I bought this paper. I like buying papers. Uh, that you can uh, fussy cut and <clears throat> and use them on your layout. They kind of extend your collection. And a uh, second side is also filled with sprinkles. So you can see some a lot of the party themed items. And this paper, Dream On, I know that many of you laughed at it because it has mermaid, but it also has cat mermaid. Cat mermaid? I don't know how to name this creature. But I think they are cute. They are very cute, and I'm going to use those this paper along with some uh, mermaid stickers to scrap the pictures from the pool um, because my bears are like little mermaids. And the second side is this scales kind of a pattern, and it's really pretty. But I uh, bought it because of this side, and I am going maybe to fussy cut a lot of those mermaids. And this paper is called Farah Forever and it's filled with butterflies, but I don't know. It kind of don't, doesn't match the papers, uh, the some papers from this collection because of this yellow. It's too bright. This paper also has yellow, but I am not sure. It looks like a random um, cluster of uh, patterns and colors. And the second side is this uh, pink pattern with black, white dots. They are irregular, kind of artsy ones. And I bought it because I am going to fussy cut the butterflies from this paper. And the last paper I got from this collection is called Zuki Zuki, whatever that means. And it's filled with uh, swans and I really love this pattern. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it, but I love it. And the second side is these two patterns connected uh, in diagonally. This one is steel and this one is mint with some uh, white dots. So these are the papers uh, I got. I also have an ephemera pack for this collection and there are uh, 40 ephemera pieces. And we have Cut Mermaid, uh, Mermaid, uh, Toucan, uh, Unicorn, and Swan, and some flowers. And I think they will match perfectly those birthday party, uh, birthday party projects. And you can never have too much of the pastel and unicorns. And I also got those puppy stickers. 51 elements in here and another uh, Cut Mermaid 
mermaid, unicorn, and they will be just the perfect um, elements to the perfect elements to just add a little bit of details to the page. And the last thing from this collection are those stickers. I bought them because of this unicorn and this mermaid and this mermaid. And <laughs> yeah, I am so easy to cheat when it comes to the pastel elements and I'm perfect uh, target for all those Instagram shares and stuff like that. Uh, I just buy uh, things because I love one element. But everyone can have some scenes and element and another collection I've got it's called flourish and it's my favorite and most beloved crepe paper and uh, this one is designed by uh, Maggie Holmes and I love love this collection and I can never have too much of crepe paper I have some papers not all of these uh, the papers because I didn't love all of them that much uh, I found some of them weird. They look like this paint by numbers papers. I wouldn't know what to do with them. So this paper is called Memorable and it has those squares you can uh, cut out and use uh, uh, in your albums. You can fussy cut the elements. And the second side, well, this is the side I was talking about. I will not cry cutting this paper because I wouldn't know what to do with the swans that you can paint by numbers. But this side is perfect. Another paper called Charming and it's filled with bugs and butterflies and I will definitely fussy cut a lot of them. And the second side is just black with white dots and the camera is going crazy. And this paper, well, it, it is called Anne and it's like, <laughs> it's like uh, I would say uh, things meant to be because this side maybe it's not that uh, fantastic but this side is just perfect it's all about me watercolor washes and rainbow and yeah that's all any I would say and this one is called Ponderosa and it has those oranges and leaves and this is the one I was talking about previously there's the new trend about lemons this year and the second side is just pink uh, pattern and this paper is called poetic and i love this ultramarine color of the roses and the second side is just uh, bright yellow and it really matches the lemons from the other paper and this one is called fragrant uh, and i love those flowers i will probably fussy cut them because this paper is a background just too busy for me but this side is also perfect with these tiny dots and another paper called greenhouse and it's black paper this is not what i'm going to use in this uh, form i will fussy cut the elements probably i'm not sure because i just love this strawberry bosch and the second side is this tiny kitchen kind of a grid in yellow color. Another paper called Perennial, and it's filled, it looks like a book about herbs and flowers. And I like this pattern, it's kind of a soft pattern. And the second side is greenish, funky um, mix of kind of rainbow shapes. But I like this side. Uh, Grandi Flora is the paper with um, with yellow roses. You can fussy cut the roses. You can use it like that. And the second side is very gently and light, and it's filled with white and cream, uh, white and cream, white and cream uh, stripes. <laughs> I forgot the word. And the hummingbird paper a uh, navy color with um, flowers and hummingbirds and the second side is just this coral coral pink uh, pattern so those are the flowers i chose from this collection but i also got this new thing this is six by eight paper pad and there are 24 sheets in this paper pad and six of them are foiled with cold foil and they are not the same patterns that I included into the big papers uh, so uh, you can see some of the patterns they are similar but 
flowers have a colors change and this is the first paper that is foiled and the, um, here are the roses but in this paper they were uh, they were yellow and here they changed the colors and this paper I'm not sure if there is a big version of this paper here are the lemons and another foil paper this one is very pretty I don't think so there is this paper in the uh, 12 by 12 papers also and another paper you can use them to create a 6 by 8 album you can cut them in halves and have uh, 4 by 6 cards uh, you can uh, cut out the strip and have 6 by 6 paper pad made from it, another uh, paper with golden foiling. And let's move on quickly to the other papers. Here is the one with golden foiling too. The peacocks, ultramarine flowers. Um, here is the hummingbird flowers, but it has uh, the background color change for the lighter one. Another paper with golden foiling, and the last one. This one is my favorite, I would say, and I will definitely fussy cut the flowers from this uh, paper. And this is the last paper. There is also six by six paper pad for this collection, and twelve by twelve paper pad. And I think the twelve by twelve paper pad also have a gold foiling. I also have this chipboard sticker set 12 by 12 chipboard sticker set and i said it previously a lot but it's my favorite embellishment ever in all the crate paper collections and i would say in all collections ever and i love using them i have have them from most of the crate paper collections and i love the elements that are included here and those peacock and this i don't know how to call this um this bird but I am loving what I'm seeing here and it also have this gold foiling on some of the elements. I would say it's more unlike a copper, not typical yellow gold, maybe a rose gold. Uh, and I also have this uh, 6 by 12 sticker sheet and they are double sided. So we have a lot of embellishments to play with. We have flowers, we have bags and uh, we have this cute squirrel this even cuter bunny and moths and bugs and houses so everything is just perfect and i also have those two ephemera parts and the, this one has 40 elements and some of them are uh, foiled with rose gold foiling and you can see what's included in here. Most of the elements has this uh, rectangle shape, uh, not so much uh, that ha has been already fussy cutted. We have this uh, water bird, I don't know how to say it, how to name it in English. We have this uh, tear, but most of the elements are just tags and tabs and stuff like that. But we have another ephemera pack in this collection. It includes five vellum pieces, and this one includes nine vellum pieces. Some of them are covered with foil. And here are only flowers. So if you were missing flowers in the other ephemera pack, here is just the perfect mix of the flowers, leaves, and butterflies. But they also added those golden leaves made of uh, fabric. They are quite stiff, so you can easily I will open it maybe or not. Uh, so they are quite stiff and has this wire so you can bend them and change the shape of the leaves and they will just look perfect. So here are two ephemera packs and I really love this one with flowers and I can't wait to use them. But this one is perfect for mini albums and uh, and all the projects that uh, really requires those kind of shapes. So here is the Flourish collection I've got. And the last one, but not the least one, is the box of crayons. Such a rainbow of colors in here. And I have some papers, not all of them, of course. And I will change the size so I will know the names. And I have some 12 by 12 papers, and we also have a 12 by 12 paper 
um, paper, I keep forgetting the name, paper pad, and it has also stickers included and foiling, and we have 6x6 paper pad with holographic foiling in this collection too, but I didn't get them. I was going to buy 12x12 paper pad, but it was already sold when I went to the shop. And this paper is called In the Sky and it's filled with rainbows over this very light yellow background. And the second side is this cloudy, um, cloudy sky. Another paper called All the Things and you can uh, fussy cut elements, you can fussy cut strips, squares, whatever you like. And I like buying those papers to extend my ephemera packs by fussy cutting single elements. And the second side is just this very fresh blue color with lighter dots. And this paper is called Fall in Line. And this looks like this, you know, the back of the crayon, this, this element of the crayon. And I really like this paper. It quite, it's quite dark, so I don't think I will use it just like that. But I bought it for this side, and I love those colorful triangles over the white background. And this paper is called Believe in You, and it has this triangular mix. And this side is even more perfect with colorful dots, and I bought this paper for this side, of course. And this one is called On a Roll, and we have pink background with uh, colorful circles. And the second side is just a mix of uh, six patterns. Another paper with lemons. This is what I'm talking about, the new trend about uh, lemons and oranges. The paper is called Breathe In, and the second side is just, just colorful uh, abstract background, but I really like this page. And as you can see, I am all over the lemon trend already, looking up, and this paper is filled with toucans, and I will probably fussy cut the toucans from this paper because it's just too dark for me, but I bought it to fussy cut the elements. And the second side is filled with um, inscriptions like plan and dream, achieve and work, but I bought it to fussy cut the toucans. I even have a perfect pictures for these papers from, um, from this place in Warsaw when you can fit parrots and toucans and exotic birds. And this paper is called Outpouring and it has navy background with this colorful heart. And the second side is just this very light um, uh, yellow strips with, uh, with uh, purple dots and I bought it for this side. And this paper is called Snapshot filled with uh, vintage cameras. And the second side is just, just this yellow background with white dots and I bought it for this side to fussy cut the elements and this paper is called make something and it's filled with uh, artsy stuff and I'm going to fussy cut them and create layout with my daughter who really loves creating stuff and the second side is also pretty with this rainbow of dots and <laughs> I was torn because I love this side but I will probably fussy cut the elements from this side and another paper called Cut Here, and it has this ombre rainbow of uh, colors. And the second side is filled with scissors, but I bought it for this side. And this paper is called All Change. It has this uh, teal background with toucan and chameleon, and I bought it for this side. Uh, the second side is filled with colorful chameleons, but I really don't know what I would do with chameleons. So uh, I will use this side. And the last paper I've got is called Pick Your Own. And it fills with strawberries. And I will fussy cut the strawberries. And the second side is this red paper with cream dots. But I love this side and I will use this side. I really don't like this side. So I'm happy I don't have to choose from. So those were the papers I've got. I don't have all of the papers from this collection because it has like 24 papers, I think. I also bought this uh, sticker sheet, uh, 6x12 sticker sheet, and it's double-sided, and this side is filled with different, uh, different uh, stickers, but some of them have this 
foiling, but it's not golden foiling. It's like a holographic dots. I'm looking for the element that will be uh, visible easily, but I'm not sure. It's so not easy to show it in on camera. Oh, here you can see over the crayons. And this is just lovely mix. But with the Schmel collections, I have this impression that there is still a lot of room left for some smaller elements. You could just draw uh, much more little stars and place them here. And when you take Paige Evans collections, you saw that she used every single spot she could to add uh, elements. And with uh, the Schmel collections, I always feel like there would be more elements matching in those empty areas. And I also got this super extra sticker sheet with alphabet, colorful alphabet, and I love the font, I love the colors, I love everything about it. And we also have some numbers. And I also got the ephemera pack. And uh, as you can see, we have two pieces here and this one is filled with elements covered with a golden glitter it's very very fine glitter and we have a scissors awesome okay and some star uh, hearts and glasses but the other pocket is filled with uh, ephemera pieces and all of them are shown here so we have rainbow uh, we have dog toucan chameleon um, some pieces to write uh, a journaling and flowers and a cut and I also have got these stickers uh, washi tape folder and it's very fun because you got the folder so you can place your stickers here uh, usually we've got a book and they are already connected here it's not so easy to use them but this idea is really great I love this idea uh, so you have separate sheets and you can uh, store them in this folder. And I have a folder with um, with elements and there is a second folder with uh, alphabets only. So if you are uh, if you like those tiny letters, you can buy it and it will be pretty. And this set has this colorful alphabet, uh, those uh, squares with elements, um, those um, those inscriptions and simple shapes, and they are covered with this holographic foil. Some of them, uh, some inscriptions. Oh, you can see here how it sparkles. Uh, but it's not that visible, and I don't think so. It will be uh, it will uh, be an uh, obstacle while taking pictures because gold foil usually look like a black spot, uh, and we also have a gold foiling in this collection. A washi uh, sticker sheet. Uh, I'm not a washi uh, fan, so I would probably not use them. And some other stickers covered with this holographic foil. And this one I'm uh, the most excited about because I uh, already told you about the pictures from the parrot house and I will use uh, those stickers to embellish my pictures from the parrot house. And the last but not least element with some random uh, stuff like brushes, camera, so you can put them all into the folder. You can divide them into parts and it's easy to store them. So this is all I've got from Box of Crayons. It has plenty of other elements, but you know, <laughs> I couldn't buy anything. I couldn't buy everything because my money wasn't that. Because I didn't have that much money uh, as I would, but I have so much stuff that I feel I would be creating with them for a month. And now we will move into the mixed media stuff I've got, and I will be back in another video soon.